The Joe Rogan Experience. R- whatever that is. Of rock stars? Anyone, yeah. Here's the problem. We know too much about them. All the mystery's gone. Exactly. You know, it used to be like, Robert Plant would come down on fucking magic carpet. We didn't know where he was coming from, <laughs> you know? He would he show probably, up. probably, at the time, thought he was on one. You know, and just think about fun. Robert Plant in his prime, right? Who the fuck ever saw anything like that before? They were taking Elvis off the Ed Sullivan show because he was shaking his hips. Robert Plant has got a piece on him, and it's pressed up against his pants. His pants are as tight as a glove. He's got no shirt. His, like, his shirt is completely open, right? His completely bare-chested, long hair, and a voice that you never heard before. You never heard someone sing, like, Hold Out of Love. I mean, it's just, he's doing something different. He's got some new thing going on, and you don't know shit about him. There's no fucking podcast that he does. He doesn't no. have a Twitter page where he says stupid shit about Trump. You know, it's just, Yeah, they, they, they actually did, they never did any interviews or, good. or any, they didn't release singles. Yeah. Actually, a lot of people didn't know, you hear all these classic songs on the radio now, but they never put singles. They refused to do singles. They didn't do press. Dude, there he, he is. If you wanted to see Led Zeppelin, you had to go to the show. Yeah, look at his cock. <laughs> look, look at it. Look at his cock. He and wants that's you to. pressed up against his pants. Yeah. Of course he does. I mean, I don't know if he had a sock there, but I want to believe. I want to believe that he was just up there slinging dick. A dude was like 17 when that first record came mm-hmm. out. Imagine. And he wasn't even the first choice. They went through a few people. Jimmy Page did when he put the band together. Uh, one, one of my favorite singers of all time. I love Robert Plant, but I always felt like if Steve Marriott, I always wanted to hear what that would sound like if he'd into the guy from Humble Pie. Fucking incredible voice. And was I, he supposed to be? I, I, I'm not. I want to say maybe Page wanted him, but he couldn't do it. I know they talked to maybe Rod Stewart. Wow. As it was the Faces at the time or earlier. There was there. He was, I know Robert Plant wasn't choice number one. Dude. And they had to talk Bonham into taking the gig. Pa- Page and John Paul Jones had known each other through session work in the mid '60s, and and when the Yardbirds broke up, Jimmy somehow. Uh, thought he had rights to the name, and he wanted to put together like a super band of all his the favorite his favorite musicians he played with. And Bonham was uh, recommended by the bass player John Paul Jones, but they had to go and like talk him into it because he was playing with bands at the time that paid him a lot more money. Wow! And Jimmy was like had to explain what they were trying to accomplish and sell him on the idea. Uh, but that was that was sort of a re- like every talk about like, bands that are put together by labels. It wasn't it, Jimmy Page was a genius and a, and a very, you know, visionary kind of guy. So he knew he needed to build this band to take over the world, and that's what he did. Wow, great producer too. To fucking phenomenal guitarist, right? Uh, probably one of the most in- inventive guitar players ever. A lot of people say sometimes, especially later when he's on the Morphine. Some sometimes it can be a little sloppy, but I like that. I like. I hate perfect. Mm. It's probably nothing more boring than perfect. So is that is the sound of a guitar similar to like a voice? Like sometimes the dude will have a raspy, crazy, fucked up voice, and it just makes it right. I mean, yeah, any real artist player with an instrument, it doesn't matter what the guitar is or the amp or anything. Like anybody that has their thing, they can pick up anything, and within like three notes, you just know it's that person. 